Write down what you love about yourself right now. All the great things about you right now, write them down. Hey guys, Vicky Lemons here and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I am so glad to have you here. So in this video, we are going to talk about love. Yes, love. It's always very interesting to me when I hear people say, I love you. Like, let's actually break that down. So what is love, right? Can we put those feelings really into one word that love because it only means what the person saying it feels it means to them when my husband tells me he loves me what he's saying is i love the action that you're doing right now i love how you make me feel i love the way you are whatever you're doing because it does this to me or for me or it makes me think about this or it makes me a better person or whatever he's he loves the actions the word love really doesn't mean much <clears throat> so when i say i love you to my husband he is going to understand it in the way that he understands what he thinks love is and when i'm saying it i'm saying it in the ways that i believe love is so instead of saying, I love you, some things that we can say to translate what we truly mean are. So for example, if I'm around someone who makes me laugh all the time, no one makes me laugh like this. I get real giddy when I'm around them because I just feel like this side of me that they bring out, no one else can bring that side of me out. I really enjoy spending time with them. They just make me feel good. That might be someone that I think I love because I might say, oh, I love being around him. I love that person because they make me feel a certain way. But instead, what we should be, but instead we should think about saying exactly what it is that we feel. I really like how I feel when you're around me. I get so excited to see you. I'm so thankful that you're in my life because I really appreciate how you can make me laugh. I really appreciate how you make my spirit smile. Thank you. Saying I love you, the love word is just a word, right? It's just the word that society has really um, created to be that word, the word, right? The L word. But it really is just a word. Me saying it to you only means as much to you as you feel it means to you. It may not mean that much to me. I never really heard I love you growing up. So... That word really didn't mean much to me growing up. I do say it to my husband. I do say it to my children. And I say it in the ways that I mean it. And, but I also, but I also say these things too. I explain what I love. I love when you blah, blah, blah. I love it when, you know, I can tell you this and that and you completely understand these are the things that I love about you. These are the things that really excite me. These are the things that really make me happy. Right? Learning to express those feelings because this is a way for you to understand if your partner or your family truly understands what, what you mean when you say you love them. Because what they may feel like you mean can be something totally different. Some other ways you can say I love you are I respect what you're doing. I'm so thankful for you. Um, I appreciate you. I appreciate when you. I'm so thankful that you are always whatever. You know, I'm thankful that you're so faithful to me. I'm so appreciative that you are so loyal to me and such a good person and such a good man. It means a lot to me that you are faithful. It means a lot to me that you hug me when you see me. I'm so thankful that you're that way. The, we think this is under that umbrella of love, but you're really just assuming. You're assuming that what's under your umbrella of love is under the person's umbrella of love that you're saying it to. 
right? And their umbrella may not be like your umbrella. So it's important to express exactly what you're feeling, express what those emotions are that that person is, is stirring up in you. And that will give them an idea of what you believe love is. And then that will hopefully encourage them to do the same so that you can see what their idea of love is. And how about this? How about you ask your partner, what do you think love is? When you tell someone you love them, what are you saying? What does I love you mean to you? And write them down and then share notes, compare notes. And you probably will have different things on your paper because what love means to me may not mean the same thing to my husband if we haven't had this conversation. Thankfully, my husband um, is married to someone who thinks and overthinks about everything. So <laughs> we've had this conversation, but it also makes me think about other people and, and how I can help others and share this information. And so that's why I'm sharing it with you. So love, what is love? Well, it depends. Number one, that's just the word. That's just the word that has been given to this this it is entity that can't even be summed up in one word. So it's an umbrella, right? An umbrella of what you think it is, an umbrella of what everyone else thinks it is. And it's a combination of the things that we experienced growing up, the things we experienced in our adulthood, the things we didn't experience. It's a combination of things, right? And so when you're in a relationship or when you have children, or with other people, you want to know what they believe love is. So when someone is saying, I love you, when you say you love me, what are you saying? What about me do you love? What about the, what did I just now specifically do that made you feel that way? Just something to think about. So as always, guys, I hope you've gotten something from this message. I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless.